Ana y Raíces. Entonces aquí tenemos acá uno de los artistas más hot del momento y la marcó. Yo creo que mi gente. Se fue cuatro minutos. Back again with another video. Now I just woke up, so I just want a little, little energy. It's around eight. Saturday. Fantastic. I don't have any plans, but let's make sure we're busy. And last night was pretty good. I had a really fun night. Very, very fun night. I was able to practice my facials. You should know what I'm saying. This right here is my barber equipment. So. Um, I'm actually gonna cut up someone's hair right now, my dad's. I'm excited, let's go. So this right here is my setup. All right, we got two magic clips, the wall saver, the end is trimmers. Uh, I got my scissors here, water, neck powder. Oh, I don't even know what this is. My clean tools. This is the aftershave cool care. No, this is the aftershave. This is like the shaving gel. We got my gel here and the Sanix. Oh, I just got done with two haircuts. I did my dad's, I did my uncle's. I would show you guys, but they're already gone. I can't really show you the end result. To be honest, um, they're whatever. Or whatever. I still need practice, but you know what? That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, okay. My dad just bought some tamales. Well, he didn't just buy them. He bought them like hours ago, but I was, you know, cutting up. I was too busy, but I'm not going to eat with the fucking hair splinters and shit like that. That's the only bad thing, right? Like you're going to get hair all over your body, but whatever. So I'm going to take a quick shower so I don't eat any hairs and shit. Oh, look, let me show you guys something. Look, look at this. I was doing sheer work and I just cut myself. Por pendejo. I woke up a little late today. I woke up around 8.17. So I just got up and started cutting my dad's hair because I told him I was gonna cut him up at eight because I had another appointment with my uncle at 10. So I low key forgot to brush my teeth. Now, it is a little embarrassing, right? But don't act like you guys don't do the same thing. Like, like, come on now. I'm just not insecure. Like, I don't care if people know the real me. Like, I am what I am. What I'm not, see, I'll never be. Got that reference? But yeah, let's 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 do the right thing, bro. Let's do the right thing. Let's brush our teeth. This video was sponsored by. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't do no brand deals. I don't do no brand deals. So if you a brand. You looking at this right now? I don't do no brand deals, bro. The only deals I do is with my companies. Unless you're gonna make me an owner of the company, don't come with me with the brand deals. Don't, bro. I need a percentage. Shout out my label, that's me. Look at my breakfast, man. This is exactly what a breakfast for a champ looks like. Those tamales. And just wait for later on, bro. It's gonna be even better. Watch. Nah, but I didn't even tell you guys. I woke up in a good mood though, because I'm telling you last night was, was special, I guess you could say. It was just another day in the office for this man right here. Another day in the office. Look, I have privilege. I'm sorry, but I do. Like, look at this face. Sometimes it's irresistible, you feel what I'm saying? And I can't blame the ladies for just throwing themselves at me, but <laughs> no, nah, that's not the case. I don't know if I told I told you guys I was gonna have a picnic with this friend of mine and we had a nice picnic. It was great. We were painting and shit. But oh my god, we ended the night. So right. It went perfect, bro. Literally went perfect. Like, I was able. It wasn't even about the, the sex itself, bro. Like, just being able to open up to this person, share my ideas, and have a conversation with this person. Because this person obviously has a different perspective. This person is a feminist, and I'm not a feminist. I see the world in a different way that than she does. So just to be able to have a conversation 
you know, where I can express my ideas and feel like I'm being heard and not just fucking be a prisoner of my thoughts. That's so relieving, bro. I just loved it. And then, oh my God, before we went back home, we just had to find a low key spot. And I did my, I did my combo. I did my, I did my combo. I did my, I did my combo. Like three minutes in, she was done for. Like she couldn't stand a chance, bro. She couldn't stand a chance. And I love that. I'm a pleaser. Yes, I like to be pleased, but I rather please myself because that gives me satisfaction. That gives me purpose. I'm a man of purpose, baby. What can I say? All right, real quick. I don't have too much time because I have to go somewhere. But I want to show you guys another hairstyling tutorial. This time we're going to do the quiff, okay? So I have my hair all the way forward. But keep in mind, I wore the beanie after the shower so it can lay flat. I know you guys saw how my hair looked after the shower. It was all fucking crazy. And if I didn't wear the beanie, my hair wouldn't be flat right now. All right, my hair is pretty wet now. So now I'm going to scoop it. I'll get like this much. And then go all in, bro. Literally, go all in. Be gentle with your hair too, okay? Like, take care of your hair. Apply it everywhere. Just because you're gentle doesn't mean you don't have to apply it everywhere. You're gonna style it like if it's a mohawk, right here. Meet it at the middle, meet it at the middle. High heat, high speed. So I think that's enough. There's a little wave to it, but then look, my hair's sticking up. Hold up. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Look, you kind of see the shape of it. Now, right here in the middle, you lift it up, comb it up, and then, whoop. Now you got it like this. You're kind of seeing the shape of it, but it's not done. The back, lift it up on both sides. You have to style it forward, even the sides. The sides go forward. Look, it's really messy from the sides which is perfect. That's the type of look we're going for. We're going for that messy look. And now for the grand finale, right? You go up. And at the end, it should look a little bit like this. This is called a quiff. I did it with straight hair, just so you know it's possible. Yes, people with straight hair can have quiffs. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, man. Yo, what did I tell you guys? Look, damn. Woo. They said I couldn't show the pozole off without showing off the salsa. If you know, you know. Look at that. Man, it seems harsh to some people, but that's actually tradition right there. Fantastic. That little cake smash. Look, from Mexican culture, they say that if you don't get your cake smashed on your face, is it really your birthday? Let's go.